Cars, a passion for people all over the world. Cars are a symbol of freedom, social and cultural progress. Mobility means economic growth and prosperity, but there's a flip side. Economic growth leads to increased traffic, which means more traffic congestion, more noise and more air pollution. And even more critically, increased traffic means more deaths and serious injuries. Every year, almost 1.2 million people die on the world's roads. Why then is safety so often ignored? For some reason, we seem to be more tolerant of death if it happens on the roads. If you take a nuclear power station, if you take aviation, if you take uh, the rail system, all of them are based on that they should be operated by people who can make a mistake. Some would argue that this higher tolerance is the price we have to pay for mobility. We disagree. There is no moral justification for any loss of life in traffic. We need to understand as a society that we can demand freedom and mobility and we can demand safety at the same time. This approach is what the Vision Zero is all about. No loss of life is acceptable. The figure zero has changed the mindset. Traditionally, transport systems are designed for maximum capacity. It is the driver's fault if something goes wrong. The Vision Zero takes the opposite approach. You have to take the human and our behavior into account when you design the road transport system. It is understanding that we will never be perfect. The Vision Zero focuses on traffic systems, placing more responsibility for safety on system design, management and leadership. We've done that with simple things like uh, barriers, um, with uh, calming traffic in built-up areas, with uh, changing pedestrian zones. I mean, quite simple things. You always come back to the very basic principles and they can be applied everywhere, wherever you go. Well then, does this vision apply to reality, you might wonder? The answer is yes. It works extremely well. Traffic in Sweden has increased dramatically since the 1950s, yet recorded traffic fatalities have continued to decrease and fell to an all-time low in 2009. Also, the Vision Zero approach has produced a ripple of positive effects throughout society. Now we, we can see gradually that safety has become much more commercial. People's demand for safer vehicles and, and safer uh, systems in their vehicles is, is, is exploding out there. It's not complicated to grasp or apply the Vision Zero. The basic thinking can be summarized in one simple sentence. In every situation a person might fail, the road system should not. Every crash with serious injuries or fatalities is something you need to carefully look at and say, what was wrong here? What should I have done? Not the citizen. What should I have done as a professional and responsible person in the system? That's the real demand we need to put on ourselves as professionals out there.